Good morning, everyone. This is Joma Hilario, and you are listening to the webinar entitled Four Critical Must Haves. You need to have, yeah, I must have, when talking to potential clients in LinkedIn. Tonight, again, we are featuring our guest uh, lecturer, guest expert, Jay McLean. It's uh, July 14, 2014, and our goal tonight is to tell you the actual steps you need to take when talking to someone on LinkedIn. I need you to tell me, is that a good thing or a good thing? No? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We're actually going to tell you the steps you need to take when you're actually conversing with someone in LinkedIn. The big thing about LinkedIn is it's not you're not just talking to individual buyers or whatever you're selling. You are talking to decision makers. Sometimes people with high positions in, in business and not not necessarily the owner and you, you want to be able to communicate the right thing in the right way. So I have with me Jay McLean again from last week and just to recap Jay has been, uh, I've been talking to Jay for a long time. I've been, I've done an event with him two years ago it was Facebook Marketing Expert. I think that the, that was the name of the event. Let me let me ask Jay here. Hey Jay, unmute yourself. You're muted. So yeah, it was. So Hello we everyone. Can hear you. Right. Yes. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay. So that. Yeah, they. I think they can. So it was Facebook Marketing Expert. That was the first event we had. Yep. So can I just recap what we learned last time? Go for um, it. Last time you taught us this actually ninja technique. It's I've never seen it done anywhere else. Not even in the advice columns of Facebook marketers, and <laughs> how to improve the description portion of your face of your LinkedIn accounts. I've actually not even seen that in the infographics. For example, if you look at Pinterest, there are infographics on how to do Facebook marketing. I have not see that there at all. So thank you very much for that. And it's a very powerful way of standing out when you're in LinkedIn. Whether you're a VA or a business person, you need to stand out, especially in a professional network like LinkedIn, where it matters. If you're in Facebook, you post uh, something funny, uh, and it's funny, you sort of stand out. But it, that's not going to get you any kind of sales. Uh, something funny is not what's needed when it comes to commerce or, or you know, money. You have to stand out in a big way for, or in, in, a, in a way that gets people to ask you questions like, where can I buy what you buy? Or where, what, where can I buy what you're selling? Or something like that. Or how can I avail of your services? You want That's what we learned last time. So today, I'm going to leave it up to Jay to explain to everyone what we're going to talk about. So uh, can you type the word I'm ready if you are ready? You know, if you're ready, if you can hear me, <laughs> just say I'm ready. <laughs> okay, and Jake, can you take it away? And okay, whatever cool. So I'll just click on mine have. and I'll share the slides. Okay, so Jomar, can you see the slides? Well, if you can see it, then everyone can see it. Yep. Okay, cool, cool. Yep. So good morning, everyone. And again, thank you, Jomar and the team and uh, for organizing this. It's always an honor and a pleasure to share as much as I can, especially uh, you, could, you could call it sort of new techniques here in the Philippines. Um, it's it's uh, definitely uh, been used around in, in, in Australia. And uh, sort of share. I think most of you know where I'm from and my background. But for the people that uh, haven't, then um, I'll share just a little bit about myself um, in in a short while. But thank you, Joma. So for the uh, this morning, everyone, the the main purpose is really this. It's your four must-haves to your linked uh, send invitation. This is the LinkedIn terminology. Otherwise, it's just like your initial message or your initial contact, right? But uh, the LinkedIn terminology is called sent invitation. So your four must-haves to your LinkedIn sent invitation for attracting endless new targeted customers in LinkedIn. Okay, so 
just to recap and to move and, and sort of share with you what's up next is uh, so the first last week we talked about the LinkedIn summary and it's very very important that you have that set up which uh, again I will um, reiterate shortly and then now today we're going to talk about LinkedIn send invitation and uh, next week uh, which is uh, LinkedIn status updates so um, allow me to just share myself quickly for the people that uh, aren't aware or they've heard they're hearing me for the first time um, yes I was born in the Philippines uh, however uh, at a very early age uh, my mother and my br my other brother and myself we went to uh, Melbourne, Australia to live uh, literally which I thought was going to be forever. Um, so we've been in Melbourne ever since until probably the last uh, two years, well a year and a half now, um, we are back here in the Philippines. Well it's just myself and well now my family here. Mum's still in, Aus in Australia in Melbourne and my other brothers as well. But um, So that's really my background but in terms of what I do today is that I'm a business strategist or growth strategist. I'm also an author and, of course, entrepreneur, as we all are. Uh, but in terms of my experience, I've had 15 years personal business experience. So I've had businesses in the past, all in Melbourne um, and here now, uh, you know, from computer shops, internet cafes to video stores, um, <laughs> a whole heap of stuff. Um, property, real estate, everything like that. But then that experience led me to uh, my consulting uh, business, uh, which I've had for nine years now. And the one that I'm very grateful for is my one and a half year personal experience of fatherhood. So I cannot, um, every presentation I do, I, I cannot help myself but share a picture of Angeline. This is the latest picture. So that's, uh, she's one and a half years old now. So anyway, so as, a, as an author, that sort of got me to a lot of things uh, today and it, it definitely made me, you know, let me connect with a lot of um, entrepreneurs out there. But this was the first book uh, called Millionaires and Billionaires uh, Secrets Revealed and then we led to a lot of books that, that, that we created here and it's uh, slowly being released but it's, uh, you know, stuff about marketing, Facebook marketing was the original one, then we've got... Uh, uh, a lot of uh, personal development or self-help books and again there's more but uh, in terms of my key business and not just here in the Philippines but pretty much in Australia is Life Master Success Secrets which just in brief it's really just a, a business education um, program and uh, behind that there's also a publishing arm but the, the reach now especially with social media because that's sort of my expertise as well is that we have over 500,000 fans but actively in the Philippines we've got about 50,000 so that's really me in a nutshell and what I do today so a lot of uh, clients that I serve here in the Philippines but uh, sort of big clients uh, and then I do a lot of events as well so why LinkedIn I think everyone was here um, everyone's here for this main reason why LinkedIn and I just want to share you again some uh, key questions that you should always be thinking and also, um, you know, trying to answer this or trying to find solutions for this. So the first three questions that I always want to share, uh, and I've shared this in last week, and I'll share it again, is how many of you use LinkedIn or have created a LinkedIn account? Okay. And um, the next question, uh, I know that I'd love to get feedback, but I'll just keep moving forward uh, after last week's experience. Is how many of you use LinkedIn to build your personal and or business brand. Okay, really think about that. Um, I mean, if you're using Facebook, that's awesome. But uh, you know, another avenue would always be LinkedIn as well. I mean, that's that's uh, they're my two key ones besides YouTube and some other platforms. But uh, just think about that. Wherever you, whatever you do is, you know, create yourself as a personal brand and and also you know a business brand as well. And how many of you use LinkedIn to grow your database of customers? This is a very important question. Uh, pretty much amongst these three is that yes you can do that right if you do it smart and you do it correctly uh, your LinkedIn connections is pretty much your database of customers that you can have okay and uh, I'll be sharing you stuff on sort of how to answer this so this is the three key questions that I, I want everyone to think about and um, that my sole purpose and also Joe Mars is to help you answer these questions with the sharing that we've got 
Okay, and so I've got one more thing to think about, and this is different to last week's, is uh, when I was studying about LinkedIn and there was a survey done, it was actually, this survey is in Australia, that it came across an interesting LinkedIn survey conducted across 1,200 business owners, right? So this, this doesn't mean that it's necessarily in Australia, but it could be everywhere, but we're in different in 11 different industries, so 11 different niches. Um, and this survey had some interesting facts and that's why, you know, these the, these facts got really, really got me into LinkedIn. Okay, so did you know that um, only a minor out of these, uh, out of, I'll just go back, out of these 1,200 business owners, that a minor 5.8% were getting any business results from LinkedIn. So if you've got a service out there, and I know there's a lot of you that has connected with me on LinkedIn right now, and I can see the services that you have offer, um, you've got to offer. Just think about this in terms of business clients: is that there's only about 5.8 percent from this survey that are getting any results. Results could mean from branding, from customer acquisition, so getting customers there. Uh, and also getting sales, right? Um, so only 5.8%. And then the next thing here, which is pretty cool, uh, is that only 9% had profiles but were not active on LinkedIn. So it goes to show that there's actually, if, I mean, if your client, potential clients are business owners, entrepreneurs, um, marketers, you know, professionals, it's, it's pretty cool that if you've got, if you learn these techniques and strategies, uh, you can really service these clients. So 9% were, um, you know, were not even active but had a LinkedIn account and surprisingly, it's not really, but uh, it says here that 85.2% of business owners said they didn't know how to effectively use the LinkedIn platform to grow their business. And then I've got here, awesome, huh? So from a service point of view, there is a lot of clients on LinkedIn that you can service, uh, you know, if you have a good understanding of LinkedIn, right? Um, so in my case, I service business owners and, uh, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, and it's a it's a great avenue for me to service because I know from the facts being given. Okay, so this facts uh, this survey was about for you know only for 1,200 business owners in 11 industries, but that is pretty much the same across the board or right across, right? So every business owner around the world, around the Philippines, are going to have similar facts and similar results. Okay, so it's a it's a very interesting survey and uh, from a service point of view, it's pretty cool because you know that you've got potential customers in this platform. Okay, so um, how many, I just want to see from the... Uh, uh, the chat, how many of you took action from last week's uh, sharing? How many? Just say, just type yes if you did and then I just want to see if uh, a lot of you took action. Okay, so um, the reason why is that before I actually reveal the four must-haves, it is important uh, that you actually do the summary section first. So it says here you must have completed, you know, your summary section about what I shared last week was question your audience with a pain point, uh, paint the picture, meaning you know relieve pain and gain pleasure uh, for that potential audience and earn the right. Okay, so um, you got to have that set up before you take action on on basically today's sharing, okay? Good, I'm seeing the yeses come through. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so you gotta have that started or you, you gotta have that completed. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you gotta have it completed before you do the, the stuff that I'll share with you uh, shortly. Okay, for the people that did, congratulations. Uh, you actually have gone through probably the most hardest the most difficult part of LinkedIn is creating that summary section, right? So if you get that right, or well, if you do that as best you can, and it will continually improve um, every time you look at it, but you've got to have that set up before you do the next step. So congratulations for the people 
that did it because uh, now you can take the next step of basically uh, learning, you know, taking taking action on the next the things I'm going to share now. So let's talk about your four must-haves to your LinkedIn send invitation for attracting endless new targeted customers in LinkedIn. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, so but before there's another thing that I want everyone to do. But before I share it, you got to have this completed as well. Is that Yes, your initial key summary, the requirements done, you've got to have that done. You've got to have at least images, not just your personal photo image, but images of some of the services that you do or that you've completed. Like, for example, for me, I do events. Um, so I, I have photos of the events that I do to, case, to showcase that I've, you know, I do workshops, uh, marketing workshops. Um, and I've, I've had videos done and I upload that on my on my profile and any giveaways so I used to give ebooks about marketing or Facebook marketing I would provide that if I give that away somewhere else I would provide it as giveaway uh, in in my summary and also I have um, updated my skills and endorsements and my experiences so your skills are the things that you want to position yourself so in my case, I want to position myself in uh, internet marketing or online marketing. Um, I want to position myself in uh, speaking. Uh, just you, you go through the profile. There is hundreds of those skills and endorsements. They're called skills and endorsements. But you've got to have at least, you know, at least have your ten there that you want to sort of, you know, profile yourself because it's important that you set this summary um, as good as you can. Okay. And then your experiences. So what have you done in the past? I was looking at Joe Mar's experiences. He's done a lot, and that's pretty cool. And so at least some of the experiences in relation to you know what you're doing today. So if you're profiling yourself as a social media, um, you know, expert or social media, you provide social media services. Then that's what you you know that's what you show images about. Some some. So some results that you've done or some giveaway, some documentation that you've created and also the experiences that you've done in the past. Okay, so you've got to have at least, so when people go to the summary, it, it, it looks real, it looks um, intriguing and then um, potentially you can connect through that. Okay, so it's important that you have at least the key components, these key ones, your summary, uh, any images that you can add besides your profile photo, um, uh, any downloadables that you can give away or videos, and your skills and endorsements. I'll, sh I'll sort of share with that later on, um, and your experience. If you've got this set up as best as you can, then um, you know it's then you can move on. But if you don't have this set up, the problem that you're going to face, uh, I says why I've got a why here. Why would you want to set all this up? The problem that, or the challenge that you're going to face is that this is my summary, for example, right? And I've got, I've sort of shared this last week, um, but if just imagine if if you didn't have this as best as you can, and you were sending invitations to connect with people out there, especially your target market, for example, business owners or entrepreneurs, or in my case, presidents of companies or directors of companies. And then they come to your summary or they come to your profile and you've really got like, you know, a one line description and you've got no photos, you've got really no details. You're really wasting your time sending these invitations because if they're going to come and look at your profile or your summary, which is the first thing that they'll look at and there's nothing there, then you're really, it's pointless trying to connect with people in LinkedIn because you're, you're losing potential customers by not expressing the services or the value that you've got to offer, okay? So that's why it's so important that even any, any you know, connections that you make on LinkedIn, if you don't have your summary set up or you don't have your profile set up, you're, you're really wasting your time. Because if they go there, imagine that, if they go there and then there's nothing there, what, what, what does that, you know, what does that, how does that represent you as a brand, from a business perspective or from a personal perspective, right? So how do, you got to think about that really importantly is that if you want to if you want to be represented the way you know you want to be treated, 
then you've got to have your summary set up like what I shared with last week. Okay, does everyone understand that? Say, type in yes. Type in yes. Okay, good. Okay, so it's important that you have this set up. So um, I'm just assuming, I know it's uh, buffering, but uh, it's cool. I'm just assuming that these key three things are completed, and then now we can do um, the invitations. But uh, now to send you, to give you an idea of how this works, um, I'm going to reveal something I've never revealed before, which is sort of my uh, my secrets to LinkedIn. Is my my thing the thing that I call my LinkedIn blueprint? Okay, this is the the game plan. Uh, I call it the marketing automation plan of what I do in LinkedIn and how I connect, how I build my customer base, and how you know I can earn my first income in the Philippines was about seven thousand per month as a service um, to now like two hundred and fifty thousand pesos a month. Okay, so I'm going to reveal to you exactly the blueprint behind that, uh, which is this. Okay, so I know it's a it's a bit much. But it's just a, a process flow of how things work and what I do. So last week I shared you about your summary. So that's the star there. The first one is your summary, right? So you need to have that set up. It's the most critical thing. It really is the foundation. If you don't have this set up, then like I said, you're wasting a lot of potential customers out there. Then the next thing which I revealed today is your send invitation. Okay, once you have your summary set up, you're going to do some send invitation and then you're going to basically you're going to connect with your potential clients, your customers, um, your strategic partners and then when you send invitation, they'll go straight to your summary and then they'll look at okay, who is this person, you know, can we work with him or can can they provide us a service or you know and things like that. So that's what's going to happen. And normally after your send invitation, which uh, I won't reveal though today, is your thank you message. So if you've connected um, with a potential, you know, with, with a potential customer or with a business owner or with a president of a company, if that's your target market, then you, you know, the, 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 the most responsible thing there would be is, you know, a thank you message, right? Is when you've connected, say thanks, thanks for connecting. Okay, and I've got my scripts for that, um, but it's it's pretty simple. It's just the the most responsible thing to do, and it it makes you look really professional as well. Okay, and uh, so you do a thank you message. Then once you've connected, which I'll talk about next week, is that you're going to be doing some status updates, or like in Facebook, you're going to be doing some regular posts about the things that you are, you know, the things that you do. So in my case, it's about marketing. So I'll be posting. Not just my content, uh, mainly content out there. Um, a great source of, you know, business content is something like Entrepreneur.com, or uh, there's a Philippine version as well. All right, so that's one thing. There's other things that I get, which is uh, uh, other feeds um, of information about business marketing. So I would do regular status updates. Okay, and then after a certain period of time, in my case. Uh, because I'm looking for high-end customers. After I do um, s regular updates, I would set up a coffee meeting. So I would connect with that person, send them a message. And what a coffee meeting is, I don't know if you've heard this before, it's basically just a one-to-one -one meeting, but it's a physical meeting. Like you meet at Starbucks or Coffee Bean, um, and then you meet face-to-face, -face, right? So you would, you would send uh, a message to say, hey, we've been connected for you know, a month now or two months now, um, and I can see that you like, you know, you, you, you have interest in what I do, uh, would you like to connect? Um, you know, and that's what I call is a coffee meeting, right? And then the last thing that I do, normally two weeks after I send the coffee meeting, if I, didn't, if I don't get any response, then I do a follow-up coffee meeting send. So I send another follow-up saying, hey, I sent you a message two weeks ago. Um, uh, maybe you, you, you didn't get it, or maybe you're busy or you're on holidays. I'll just, uh, he, here's, um, I'll send it again, but 
basically I was just wondering if you wanted to to you know have coffee together okay and discuss about the, the what you do in your business and what I do and maybe we can do something together or maybe I can provide um, a, a service to what you need okay so this is what I do this is really I call it the game behind the game of why I do LinkedIn and how I connect with customers and you know create an income from it okay so every time I do these things when I send an invitation when I send my thank you message when I do status updates when I do my coffee meeting request or coffee meeting message and follow-ups every time they're gonna be looking at my summary right so I'm getting all these sends I'm doing these send invitations I'm doing status updates and if people are interested they're going to go straight to my summary and that's why it's important you know you got to have your foundation set up right so if they go to your summary and they like what they see then now you have a potential customer right so you would organize a, um, a meeting request now I've had coffee meeting requests literally within the next day because I looked at the profile and they said that's really interesting maybe you know you can provide me a service or maybe we could do something together and then they'll organize a, a meeting request and then I try to do that within at least two weeks within a week to two weeks okay so that's the the blueprint I know it was revealing a lot but I just wanted to share with you the I call it the game behind the game of why I do LinkedIn okay so well, let's talk about the send invitation okay let's talk about the send invitation and we're going to use Joma's account as a uh, exercise. Okay. So normally, when you've got your summary, I mean, when you've got your LinkedIn profile set up, Joma, are you okay at the moment? Do you have any questions? No, I'm okay. Let's keep okay. Going. Good. Good. Okay. So let's keep going. Um, so when you are now looking to connect, so like I said, I'm assuming that you've done your summary you've done those key things um, in terms of your summary, your profile, um, now you're going there and connecting. Okay, so you can connect and, and just search for people or search for interest, but um, I'm sure people have learnt how to find people on, on LinkedIn. Uh, I can definitely do another session on that, but in this case, I'm just assuming you know how to find people. And say you found Jomar's account and you're not connected yet, but um, I suggest though initially is that you look for people that have it's called see this thing here a second level connection okay you gotta have you gotta find people initially that will say second there up the top right here okay so because there's gonna be a secret to why I, I do this initially not third not not like there's nothing there it needs to have a second there and you'll find people there, you'll find them on LinkedIn, um, don't worry about that, there's plenty there. And then when you have that second, then now um, if you go to their profile, there'll be the connect button. That's it, you just select connect and then this will appear. Okay, when you, when you select connect, then your next page, this page will appear. Okay, so now um, this is just one strategy. There is other strategies out there, um, but in this, you know, for this session, for this sharing session, I'll just talk about this strategy. So what we're going to do in this strategy is we're just going to assume, and I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this, but uh, I can't answer it here. But let's just say that you know you're okay with doing this, and you're going to do it this way. Okay, this is what I do. Um, I've done this in the Philippines now for one and a half years here connecting with every known brand, with every um, marketing manager, president, vice president, business owner, entrepreneur, and I've had no one sort of question me about doing this strategy, okay? So what we're going to say, we're going to assume right, that we've done business together. You're going to click that, and then number two, you're going to select your key business. Um, the, when you write your profile, you're going to be writing um, the, your experiences. So in my case, my experience is my business marketing. I'm a business marketing strategist, um, and I'm, I'm a consultant, a business consultant. So I'm going to say that you're going to select that, and then you're going to say that you, we've done business together on your business. Okay. 
So when you write your experience, that's why your experience profile is important because you're going to pull this up. This is the only. This is one of the ways to connect to someone that's sec, you know second degree or second level. Okay. Um, and then so you're going to select that. So you've got to have that set up. And then the instead of as you can see here, this is the default comment uh, or the personal note that LinkedIn will provide. It will say. I'd like to add you to my professional network on LinkedIn. I'm sure if you guys have used LinkedIn before, um, you are, you know, you're going to get this. You probably received this. But if you want to stand out, if you're if you're trying to connect and you want to be different, you want to stand out more. You want to look more as a professional. Um, it basically, I suggest is don't use the you know the default personal note. What you would use is what I'm going to share with you is the four must-haves. Okay, so that's how you do it. So you're going to look for people that is second degree, second level. You're going to click connect, and then you're going to select um, your, you know, your key business that you've done business before. Like I said, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions around this, but maybe you can send me a message on LinkedIn, and uh, I can explain it. Or uh, in the next time we meet, I will definitely explain it uh, a lot clearer. Okay, and then you're gonna create your default, your own default send invitation message. Okay, which I'll share with you, which is your four must-have. Okay, so Joma, do you understand this? Is this clear enough? Uh, no. no, no. Okay, uh, what question what do you have? Huh? What, is, what is number two? Mean? Number, number two. What will I put? Okay, there? good. Okay, number two is you'll select, you know, in your profile, you would have written about your experience and the business that you have. Um, in, in your case, it would be your, your um, it would be one of your businesses. So it could be your, um, you know, your, what's one of the businesses, you, you've got your podcaster, what's the one before that? You've got your um, VA, was that the VA business that you put in your experience? Okay, maybe, <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway, it's one of one one of the experiences, the businesses that you put in your profile. When you select this but when you select this pull down, it will appear all your business experiences will appear there. All right? So what you would do is you would select your key business experience that you want to, you know, you want to position. So in my case, I'm a, a business consultant. Right? So um, I would put that there that I've done work together with this potential person um, as consulting even if you may not have. All right. Do you understand that? Got it. Got okay. It. Because for you to be able to send this message, you're gonna have one of these selections. If you're a colleague, you don't you you, you know if you if you don't really know that person, a colleague, where have you worked with them before? If you're a classmate Yes, if you're a classmate, you can do that, but you've got to provide some details. In this case, we've done business together. You, you, if you select that, then you can just provide one of your details, right? If you're a friend, then you need to provide, you know, like where have you met them or what you do, or if you're in groups, you can select that if you've, you're in their groups or in other. If you know their email address, you can select that, but I don't know, Joma, if you select that, then you can't send the invitation. Right, so for for the key thing here for this exercise is that for you to be able to select, um, I use this technique, or you can do groups or other or friend. Um, but if I don't really know that and we didn't go to school together, I can't select college. Right, but this is one way to do that is that you would select that and then the business that you know the the position or the qualification that you have today, um, you would just select that in the pull down. Okay, now by doing this, it allows you to send this invitation. If you don't do that, you can't send the invitation. Yes? Okay. Okay, good. we can move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. So then let, let's just talk about the, let's talk about the invitation itself. So now let's let's fill up this sent invitation with a, a more detailed or a, a more uh, more approachable professional message. Okay, so the first must have is number one is name. You address the person by their first name, right? Or their name that appears 
up the top here. Sia says here, invite Joma to connect on LinkedIn. I normally do in case I don't type it, I just highlight Joma, I copy it, and then I paste it. Okay, because sometimes when I used to type, it could be late at night and then I make a spelling error. But to get the right name, you just select that and that's what that that name there appears it, as if Jomar wrote it. So whatever Jomar wrote on his profile is exactly what's written there because LinkedIn just takes that data and puts it there. Okay? So you would the invitation you need to address them by name. So you can either say howdy, then name or hello name or hi. Um, I normally use hi and then their first name and then hope you are well. Okay, that's the first part of the sent invitation message. The second part is that you will want to address their title and the company that they potentially work for. Okay, and how I do this, and this is the script, is I, I mean you can do this in your own special words but this is my Aussie slang, is came across your profile and notice your the and then their title. That could be the business owner, the president, at the company that they work for. So if you look at Joma's, uh, you can't see it there, but if you can, see, yeah, you can see it here. So here currently Joma is, um, there's the company Joma, Ideas That Prosper Inc. All right, so Joma would be the president or the owner of Ideas Prosper Inc. So if you go down their profile, you will see, you know, if, if it's still present, if, you know, they're current with that company. So I would select their title. So in this case, let's just say um, president or the, the owner um, at Ideas, what was it again, Joma? Ideas That Prosper Inc. Okay, so that's what I would there. So I came across your profile, I noticed that you're the president at Ideas. So you select, just, you just look at their profile and then you just cut and paste again, right? Now the reason why I do this is that it basically shows that I've gone through their profile and had a look, which which you do. You just go through it and have a quick read, and you you, you know that is a depending on your target market, that is a potential customer of yours. So it's by respect that you've had a look at their profile and that you know they're currently the president, or they're the business owner, or they're the marketing manager of a company. And you would put that there, just to show that you know you've read their profile, and it goes to show that you know you've made an effort to have a look, rather rather than just showing that you know simple message. So you've done the profile. Now this is the important one. The number three must have I call it HTP um, or human touch point. Okay. So I think everyone should everyone should type. HTP. Type that now. HTP. Or if you're if you're really keen, type human touch point. Okay, this is uh, one of the key things uh, for this strategy. Okay, a human touch point. Okay, so it says here never ever connect unless you have a human touch point in common. So a human touch point in common is either a person or a group. So you are connected with that person. Um, that's why it's important. I'll just go back a, a slide. It's important that you have this thing here and it says second because there are second connection or second degree connection, meaning that there will be a person that, like if I was trying to connect with Joma, um, I think in this example here, in this example here, there's, um, I'm sure everyone knows Anton Diaz. Oh, good! Everyone's uh, typing in Human Touch Point HTTP. Everyone knows Anton Diaz. Yeah, that when I was doing this with Joe, when I was connecting, we're reconnecting with Joma on LinkedIn. The the second degree, Joma is my second degree. My first degree connection is Anton Diaz. So I'm already connected with Anton Diaz, but the the, the second degree is Joma. Anton knows Joma, right? But I know Anton. But because uh, Joma is Anton's friend, he's like a second degree. So and um, he's 
basically Anton is the human touch point to connect with Joma. I hope I'm not confusing people. <laughs> okay, so that's okay. Cool. Everyone knows Anton. Okay, so you gotta find that second degree. Okay, so it's either gonna be a person. If it's a second, there'll be a person, or there could be a number of people. Okay. Yes, it definitely makes it personal. Yeah, our awesome planet. That's right. Or it could be a group that you have a you know a network group. Um, I've got like a marketing group or business, um, you know, business marketing Philippines group, and I've connected with someone there. But my key point here is people in common is the most powerful you, human touch point in LinkedIn, and the second one is groups. So I normally try to connect with people that have that is second degree, and there is thousands and thousands of them. Right? There's thousands. That, that's why you just find people there, because it. <laughs> cool. It makes it really important that uh, you have that. So that's number three. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be putting all this together. If it's confusing everyone at the moment, then that's cool. Don't worry. When you see it, you'll know what I mean. So human touch point. The last one is reason for connecting. Okay, the last must have is tell them the reason for connecting. So you are professional and then that you know you're not going to get questions of saying why are you connecting with me at least you're upfront with it um, and linkedin is the you know a business networking you know system so it, they're there for a purpose which is to connect with people right so you remind them of that so i would say something like linkedin is for networking hence you want to be you know you want to increase your network your linkedin network so how i do it is uh, here so let me go to my script, and then I'll tell you the the four must-haves. The first must-have is address them by their first name or then you know their name. So hi Joma, and then the next one is remember what the next one is. All right, the next one I'll go back title and company. Okay, so title and company. Hope you are well. Came across your profile and notice you're the I don't know president. The business owner at company. Okay, and now the human touch point, and we know Anton in common. Okay, we know Anton in common. Okay, and then lastly, the fourth one is the fourth one is reason for connecting. Then you just remind them for networking purpose purposes. Uh, I'd like to invite you to my business network. On LinkedIn. That's all. You just got to be upfront with them that you, it's your business network on LinkedIn. And then regards, Jay. That's it. That is the script, or these are the four must-haves in your send invitation, rather than you know the 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 template or the default send. As you can see here, if you look at the difference between them, this makes you a lot more professional. It, it you know you're telling exactly. You've, you're showing them that you've had an effort to look at their profile, and it's the type of person that you want to connect with, and and you've got a second degree connection there, and plus you're telling them the purpose for connecting. Okay, I can tell you, you do this correctly, and then if that person is active, uh, even if they're not that active, or if they're regular on LinkedIn, they will connect with you, pretty much guaranteed. Uh, they will connect with you. Rather than you know that template, that default connection, and the person doesn't know who you are, what you do, blah blah blah. Okay, so this is it. So if we put this live, um, I hope everyone's copying this down. <laughs> um, anyway, this is going to be recorded. But if we put this live, this is what I would do on that profile. So I would go one. I would go. We've been. We've done business together in the profile that that I'm positioning myself. Okay, like I said, just have this set up. Okay. Um, we, you know, you can message me privately, or you can message me in LinkedIn, and I can explain the reason why. But I sort of won't do it here because it's it, it's a process. And then here, number two is that hi, Joma. Hope you are well. Came across your profile and noticed you're the president and C CEO at Ideas That Prosper Inc. Now this is exactly word for word what Joma wrote on his profile. The the president and CEO. At ideas that prosper Inc. I didn't like. I didn't create that. It's it's in his profile, and we know. Look, Anton Diaz in common. 
right? And then lastly, for networking purposes, I'd like to invite you to my business network on LinkedIn. Regards, Jay, and boom, the last step is send that invitation. That is a more professional, and I'm telling you, you're going to get a lot more connections by doing it this way, and all it is is just a cut and paste, right? I just, you know, I have that on on uh, a text document. Well, I have it on my Excel file because I'm recording a lot of stuff. Um, and then I just paste that there, and then I just put in the details from Jomar's profile. Jomar, do you have any questions? Does this does this sort of a bit more clear? Yep, got two questions. Go. Um, Fire. First, first question is, um, how do you find the second degree? How do you do that on the search? Oh, okay. And, uh, so. Second question would be, personally, do you target presidents, CEOs, or Vice presidents. That's it. That's, those are my questions. Could could I go into? Could I go live, or it's not going to happen? It's going to sort of uh, it's going to sort of buffer and stuff. No, it'll work. It'll work. Okay. So um, I'm going to go change. Live. Okay. So I'm going to change my screen because you know this is the PDF, and I'll go to. Uh, um, okay, we're going live. This is cool. I'm excited. Boom. Mm -hmm. So, Jova, tell me if tell me what you see. <laughs> wow. Uh, show you yeah, there it is. LinkedIn is up. Okay, and cool. Entering your password. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so this is live. Good. Okay, so um, what was the first question again? <laughs> How do you find second degree contacts? Okay, cool. Okay, so we're gonna go. This when this, I'm assuming, you know, this. Just imagine this is your account, and you're gonna have your picture here, um, and then you're gonna have this same page. This is like the home, the home page of LinkedIn. And then what you're gonna do up here is, I wish I had that tool that you have, Joma. Um, you're gonna click advance. Okay, you're gonna click advance, and then you're gonna go to this cool advanced search on LinkedIn. Okay. Now there's some features here. Um, this is I'm using a free account right now, just just so you you know it's exactly what you guys see. Because if I use a um, a paid account, it might be different. But anyway, what you're gonna do here, you're gonna do a quick search. So say um, I'm looking for business owners. Okay. So I'm gonna go title, okay. business owners. Okay. And then there's other ways to do this with boolean searches and stuff like that. But I won't talk about that. So let's just talk about um, business owners, and then you're going to say that they are current, okay? That they're current. They have to be current business owners. I don't want a business owner that that's you know not current. And then you're going to say that um, I want to target. You can target companies. You can target school. You can target location. I'll just put located near. But I want to target people in um, Makati, or I want to put a postcode there. What's 1200? Is that Makati? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. It's it's Makati Maybe. area, Metro Manila area. Okay, so Code? yeah, twelve hundred. Yeah, it is. And then um, I will select fifteen kilometer radius. So from this postcode, um, fifteen kilometers, you know, in radius around, um, they're gonna find people there. And then I won't click search yet because I'm gonna go up here and the relationship. Right, so the relationship is people that are second connections. So I'm just going to select second connections. Okay, so does everyone get that? Joma, did you see that? Saw it. Okay, cool. So if Joma saw it, everyone saw it. So business owners, so your target market title, definitely select that they're current and then select your location. So if you're pinpointing you can even put here, you know, get the postcode of BGC if you're looking for clients in BGC or just Makati um, area, right? And get it, and then within, you know, a kilometer radius, you can go 160 kilometers or within these radius. I normally, the reason why I do 15 kilometers, um, because remember, my game behind the game is to eventually connect with them physically in, a, you know, a coffee shop. I call it, you know, the coffee meeting request. So I know that if I'm connecting with people. 15 kilometers away from my area, it's I'm sure you know we can organize to meet together. That's the reason why, right? 
So within that area. Okay, and then the to answer your second question is that second connection. Right, what's the second question again? Sorry. Um, do you target presidents, owners, okay. or vice presidents? Okay, the cool. cool. Uh, well, it's really just their title. So, so the first question, there's a second connection. You would just select that. You would untick everything else. This stuff here on the right-hand side, it's only for paid accounts, so you don't really need to worry about that. But here, location, company, industry, and you can even hear industry. There is hundreds of them. You know, you select what you're looking for. So th there, like, you know, once at one time last year, I was just looking for real estate. That's how I connected with a lot of real estate businesses here from developers to marketing um, agencies, all that. So, okay, so there's a whole heap of them there. You can select that on your free account. You can do the same thing. Um, past company, don't worry about that. School, if you want to, uh, my wife is looking for people that are studying in Ateneo or La Salle because, uh, and, and you know, that they've got a postgraduate or they're at a certain level because if they want to study in Australia, that's one of her businesses is, uh, um, you know, my great student uh, services. So anyway, you can do that. And then in terms of president, so if you're just looking for president, and make sure it's current though. That's my tip. Make sure it's current. So if you've selected, okay, business owners. Oh, let's go president. Because if we just, uh, Joe Mars thing, president, current, uh, second degree, and um, in Makati area. Boom, you search. I saw and some. Then, <laughs> Boom, you search, and then there's wow. 3,629 um, results. There you go. They're all second connections. You know for a fact that if they're a second connection, that means you know th there's someone there. Okay, so if I look at this person, and if I want to connect, um, I just normally I would right-click. Um, well, I would just right-click and open up their profile first. Okay, and then... Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Help. Oh, wait. There. So, sorry, John, you're awesome. <laughs> um, we're just using you <laughs> as an, a, a sample. Um, I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, we're, um, this is all uh, free to, to look at. So, uh, we're just going to look at your profile. Okay, so John is the founder of eCircular Inc. Okay, so let me just show you these steps live. So I'm looking at him and I say, hey, yeah, I, I want to connect with this person, Ateneo, his education, um, and then his connections, his groups, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this person is someone I want to connect to. So I want to keep this page as a tip because you're going to do multiple uh, connections. I do about, okay, um, my consistent daily connections on real people with potential clients after I search them properly is about 15 a day. Okay, so I do about 15 a day. I've been doing that for the last one and a half years for just, you know, Metro Manila, business owners, presidents, just that. Okay, so I would connect. Um, okay, I like, I like John. I want to connect with him. So I would right-click this. I'm using a Mac, so whatever, it will appear on your PC. I would right-click and I would go open link to a new tab. So because if you click on this, it, this page, you know, this page will appear. Okay, so... John, this is a good example. John has an email address. Okay, so he's asking for an email address, so I can't sort of connect with him that way. So I'll have to look for another person where I can show you that other screen because I don't know John's email address. Well, there is a way to... Let me just look for another person. Uh, Edwin Santiago. Okay, so he's a vice president for administration at LaSalle. Maybe for someone from La Salle that's listening may know Edwin. Um, and then I would go right-click and new tab. Uh, oh, okay, so they're doing invite. Okay, so they're going to do this. But normally what will happen if we go back to the... Remember that screen where you can select? But let me just see if I can do another one. Because there is some. They're asking for the email address. Yeah, they're asking. Okay, here it is. Okay, so don't worry about this message because uh, I've gone crazy. But uh, that's that's just a, a message. Don't worry about it. You can ask me about that. Um, okay, so what I would do is I would um, cut and paste my script. 
Okay, I'll have to get my script. Uh-oh, I'm going to reveal some of my secrets here. Um, <laughs> this is this is the uh, this is this is the secret. Um, Jeremiah's letting me reveal my 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 Excel sheet, how I'm connecting with everyone, and how I'm making money. So if I'm going to I'm, I'm going to show you what I did from. If you guys see this, I know this is going to be. I'm going to do it really fast. This is April the 22nd. This is one of my files. And then until now, and this is the potential money I've earned. Okay, that's it. Boom. Okay, so anyway, um, let's go back to that other thing. Um, I'm going to go back to the other screen. Okay, so the script, I'm going to just put my script here. There you go. Can everyone see this? Jeremiah, you can see this? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, so so I'm going to go back and forth with the, with the details. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, first, I'm going to use the, the default LinkedIn. Um, let me just do it correctly at the screen. So let's do it from here. I'm going to use the, the default LinkedIn name. So I will never get this first name wrong because it's exactly what that, own, that um, person has typed in LinkedIn. So I would select that, copy it, and I would paste it here. That reminds me. Then. Hope you're well, come across your profile, blah, 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 title and company. So I would go up the top and look for, they are the president of Shine Special Inc. And I would copy that and I would paste that here. Boom. Jemma, can you see this? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then where you can get their second degree, you need to scroll down and then how you are connected will appear and then these are the well there's more than one person there's a whole there's like five more connections so there's like eight connections so I would just select the top one it doesn't really matter and I would just grab all I did was just put my cursor over that person's name this pop-up appears I would just highlight that grab their name and then go back to my invitation highlight the connection tab to remind me and paste that there you go Right, so I've used um, the four must-haves, and then I would select here. We've done business together, and I would select my current profile or my current service, which is business marketing strategies. Okay, and then Joma, have you got any questions right now that you want to ask me? No. Okay, no. and and then basically I would send the invitation, and boom. And then now I've just, uh, and then this is normally what happens, invitation to Bunny Gonzalez. So this person, this wonderful lady um, is now sent. And then I would just uh, wait for the response. Okay, I would do 15 of those uh, a day. All right, and um, yeah, there's some pretty cool results. So I'll go back. So any questions, Joma? No, 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 no. Okay, nothing. so I would go back to my. How do I get back to my slides? Um, this is interesting. Okay, I would go back to the other screen. Let me just uh, go back to my screen. Okay, so um, can you see the screen, the presentation screen now? Uh, yeah. Mark? Just the presentation? Yeah. Okay, so that's how I would do it. I would select that second degree, and then I would select their profile and then send the invitation, and I would do that 15 times um, per day, connecting with the potential target market I'm looking for. Okay, so that was an advanced search feature, and you, everyone can use that. You know, you've got a free account. You can do what I just did, and it's... Pretty cool. So the action time is that make sure you've got these key must-haves. Is their name, their title, the company, the human touch point. It's critical that you have that human touch point because it's a way for you. It's like, you know, Anton Diaz was basically, in real life, Anton Diaz was connecting me, me with Joma. That's, that's what it was exactly what was happening in real life. Okay, and then I was explaining that, hey, you're... Jomar Hilario, and you're the president and CEO of this company because I saw your profile, um, or, or you know, on LinkedIn, and that you know I'd love to connect with you because you know we're on LinkedIn together. 
And that's the reason why, because you know, LinkedIn's a platform for connecting. So that's the action time. You've got to have this and practice with it, guys. Um, have fun with it. Um, and it was good that Joma asked me to do the demo because uh, it would, I'm sure it would make it a lot clearer. Uh, can we have the Excel? Um, uh, I'll talk to Joma about maybe doing something in the future to give you a template. But anyway, um, that's it. Uh, that is the four must-haves to your LinkedIn send invitation for attracting endless new targeted customers. And I can tell you that, guys, you can make uh, a great way. I mean, you can definitely, you will definitely connect. Uh, but if you've got your system set up, especially you know what you need to do when you're meeting them physically, and you know having your, I call it your coffee meeting, um, and you know exactly what you need to do in terms of converting or you know seeing if they like your services, then uh, you can definitely make you know a lot of money. Okay, especially if you've got you've got the skill sets and you've got the service um, that you know you you pretty much you provide. So thank you so much to Joma and to everyone. Still on Bunny Gonzalez hey, Jacqueline's hey, profile. Yeah, hey. and um, awesome. hopefully everyone got a lot of value. No, so question time. Yeah, question. Any time. questions? Any questions? Uh, I'll I'll tell you mine because they don't have well, <laughs> theirs will come in a little bit. Just uh, the simple. You already know that I'm gonna ask this question anyway. Yeah. Yep. Um, these guys, these guys are gonna tell you. There's a lot of people telling you that they don't know who you are. Okay. So what do you do when that happens? Okay. So okay. So think about this, guys. The reason um, most if, if people are active on the LinkedIn account, or if they they're not active, but if they're regular users of LinkedIn account, one of their main reasons is to network, right? So of course, in 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 the networking world, from you know, if you're going to go out there, most of the most of the time you don't know these people, right? You're going to say if you're doing it in real life situation, you're going to a networking event. Now, do you know half of the people in that room, or do you know most of the people in that room? No, right? So it's that no. same mentality. No, you wouldn't. Okay. So you, and then you go up to that person and you want you're introducing yourself. And then, um, and then you know, you, you normally would say, okay, what do you do? Or, and then you would have a little conversation, and then you would most likely exchange business cards, right? So, um, it, so if you go from that perspective, right? So that that's that's the thing. Now, if, if like I haven't, you know, LinkedIn saying certain things, and and yes, they can say that, and they have to do it correctly. But if you're just saying that, and then you you send a message like what I've shared with you. Then you're kind of doing the right. You're doing the right thing. You're explaining. You're expressing yourself. You're, you've actually read their profile, and and you're 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 stating the reason for connecting is that you know this is a networking platform, and you would like to connect with them, right? So it's cool. It's cool to be like that. But if you know that person and you've got their email address, say you were at a networking event, you get their business card. And you've got the email address, but you don't really know that are they using that email address to set up their LinkedIn profile? They may not. They could be using their Gmail, and they can give you a their professional business card that they work for a company, and they may not use it and may not be using that. So that link, that email could be the, not the right email. So you, you won't be able to send an invitation to that person because you don't know what their correct email is for their LinkedIn account. Right. So the only other way to connect with them is using this step. Is that you know you've worked with them. Now most, in my case, most companies are big companies. Now if you're trying to connect with the president, the president does not have a clue if you know if Life Master Success Secret has somehow um, you know done some work in the past with that company. But it, it's cool because the president will say, okay, if if they look at your summary, if they're interested, they will connect. Okay, they will connect. So it's okay to do that, um, you know. But just do it conservatively. If you're going to go out there and try to do 100 connections, then that's a bit too much. Just do it correctly with, you know, 15, 20. My maximum I've done in one day is 80. Uh, I don't know if you saw that on the Excel file. Is 80 just to test it, and I did that um, 80 every day for one week, and and just to, to see if I would get in trouble by LinkedIn or anything like that. Nothing. And most of the people connected, um, and it's cool. Um, I'm, I am trying to do some 
um, heavy strategies with my team, and uh, that's I suggest not doing that. But but I have to test and uh, you know stretch LinkedIn as much as I can to know what I can do and what I can't do. So then I can share that with everyone, um, not what not to do. Okay, but um, it's cool. So if you do that and you're doing it to 10 people, 15 people, even 25 people, then that's fine a day, right? And then, but you got to do it using that, you know, those that that um, that way of um, sending a message, sending an invitation, right? So that's what most of them will be okay with that. That's to answer your question. Yeah. That's good. That's good. You answered more than my questions. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know this is going to be a, a, a said, yeah issue. <laughs> hey, somebody said advance happy birthday. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. I can't believe how many people advance <laughs> happy birthday, man. Okay, no questions. Any about LinkedIn? But thank you so much. <laughs> uh, no questions. Okay. I don't see any questions. If there's no you questions. You guys don't have a question, so we're going to go nighty night. You guys sure? Okay, no more questions then. Okay, well, guys, thank you. Just a comment, <laughs> just a comment from Bart. She says, this is the bomb. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's, that's a comment. That's not a, that's not a question, but we welcome it. Yeah. Yes, it is the bomb. Dana says, and does an amazing amount of work. Boom! So it's all about <laughs> explosions today. Okay. Cool. That's good. Reveal them all. I mean, wow, wow. Yeah, even stuff I didn't want to reveal, but Jeremy wow. got me to reveal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. So it's so cool. Now you know to tell people don't attend next week because that's the stuff you get. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now you know. So do us a favor, put in your Facebook, you don't know what you missed, okay? <laughs> yes. You can put that in your Facebook account. You guys don't know what you missed. If you are a business owner and you're listening and you're just saying, what's that, what's that, what's that? So that's it. So next week on, on Monday again will be our last in the series of LinkedIn tutorials from Jay McLean. I actually saw just Six people changing their 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 profile photos. Well, six people who who showed me their profile photos. Of course, there's probably more out there who didn't show me their changes. But let's see how many people change their profile photos after this one. Okay. Yeah, there's I think a lot there was access more. Access to. There yeah, was there was more. more I think. Yeah. yeah, there was more, Jeremiah, because I was getting a whole heap of invites. <laughs> like I don't ah, know, okay, okay. fifty plus invites. So, um, so yeah, so definitely a lot more, yeah. Okay, do you know the a topic for next week? I can't find the list. Yeah, the yeah, topic for next week find. is the important one is the um, status updates. Hmm. Status updates. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. What to do in those status updates? Yes. Okay. What what to do in this? Okay, we'll 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 give a question. And answer it for next week. What do you do in the coffee meeting? Would you like oh, to answer okay. that now or answer? Well, I, 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 I yeah, I don't mind if if you want me to do it. I don't mind. We got time. Yeah. Yeah. While it's while it's still fresh. Yeah, the coffee meeting. Okay, sure. yeah, okay. So the coffee meeting is probably. I mean, every step is important. But um, if you remember my the blueprint, the LinkedIn blueprint that I have. Um, every step's really important, but um, where where the money is is actually you know the co the, the the actual coffee meeting, um, the physical meeting. So I I know I have a strategy in place. I, I know how to. Um, let, let me just ask you. I'm going to give you a very important tip. It's really you know you really don't know. You got to tell every all your friends in Facebook. You know they really don't know what they've missed. Okay. So the another important tip is that. The person that controls the conversation is the one asking the questions. Okay, now if I know I'm connecting with a president or from a business owner and I know that they've made an effort to connect with me and have actually a coffee meeting, that means that they are looking for something and most likely 
they, they're seeing me as a potential solution to what they're looking for. So it's, remember I was telling you about relieve pain you know, and, and gain pleasure. So they've already got some pain for their business and they're looking me as a potential answer you know, to, for that pain. So I know that for a fact already. I know that. If they're already asking me for a coffee meeting, um, they're that. It's either going to be that or that they're potential strategic partners. Right? So that's a lot of my coffee meetings are around potential customers um, or potential strategic partners. So I know that. And um, Now, remember that tip I shared you. The person asking the questions controls the conversation. So you have to be prepared. Success happens in direct proportion to the preparedness of your success. Okay, so you have to be prepared with those questions. And those questions allows you to control the conversation. All right, allows you to control if you want to do the meetings. If you've got meetings booked and you you know there could be four meetings on that that afternoon. All right, so you need to be able to control that meeting so then you can do that within an hour or two hours and then get the things that you want and and provide value to that person and then be out of there and be ready for the next meeting. So you've got to have questions ready and those questions will articulate the things that you want. Meaning, you know. Are they, what are their pain points? What, if they're a business owner, what are they struggling? Are they struggling on getting customer leads, you know, qualified leads? Are they struggling on business systems? They don't have really, they don't have a systemization. They don't have systems in their business and the business owner is, you know, working in the business rather than on the business, okay? Or are they, you know, they, they, they need more help on um, managing their staff well? And, and so then they could be more proactive and then, you know, there's more productivity in the workplace. So I've got certain questions set up during my conversations. Now, the conversation will just go, you know, will go in, in general, it will just be ad hoc, meaning that I'll just let the conversation go. So normally, you know, you would greet yourself in that coffee meeting and then you would say, how are you? And I would, th I would of, of course, I would say thank you for, uh, you know, for allowing this to happen and, it's always an honor to meet, you know, new business people. Uh, always to, uh, an honor to meet new business people and share strategies or uh, ways that I can and help business owners because that's my passion. All right, so I'll say something like that, and then, um, then I would just let the conversation go as is, and then I would, then if I know that if it's off track, then I would throw in a question. Okay, so uh, and you know, one question could be is that. Um, so is is like I can see that you're uh, from your profile. You're you're the business owner of this company. What does that company actually? You know, what can you explain what that company does? You know, you do this in your own way, in Tuglish, whatever it is. Right? I've got my own way of being me, of being Jay, and I just do that. And then so I can get an idea of that company. Oh, okay, that's fantastic. How long's that company been going for? Okay, great. And you know, how long's the stuff? So you have these conversations. Okay, and then. Um, then you would ask another question, which is another pain point. So um, that's great. You've been you, you've had the company for five years, but is uh, are you looking to expand the company now? Okay. And then I've got another question. I'm gonna. That's what I do. I'm just prepared with questions, and I control the conversations with these questions. But I don't I don't ask the questions like a robot. I just do it by. Uh, I've done so many now. It just comes to me naturally. I know what the questions are, and I know how to sort of get the answers I'm looking for and then if, if, if I can provide value to this business owner then I would share a little bit more about what my services is and if they're interested on that and most, most you know, if they are interested they will be asking, okay, well what do you do, uh, how much is that and then I would just be upfront with it All right? and I would again ask questions. Now I've got my strategy and that could be another session but I think we'll reveal that in the time that we all meet together in the in towards the end of the year um, about how I do um, and how I sort of close, but it, it is uh, it's 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 not something that uh, that I can sort of share with you right now because there's so many aspects to it. But it's it's basically a skill that I've gained over time um, by being around so many business owners, talking, networking, and I kind of know what I'm looking for. And if I see that they need my services, I will tell them, hey, I've got I do this, and if you're keen. Then you know. Um, let's see if uh, you would like to do more, and or if you wanted to know more. So hopefully, uh, I don't, I don't want to. Uh, hopefully, that's enough to answer that question.
<laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, we can say good night. <laughs> and for uh, everyone to watch the replay. The replay of the first webinar is in your comment box if you can see it. It's jhilari.com slash level up with LinkedIn. That's the first webinar. We're going to give you the link to this webinar, which is actually this same link you yes. used to get here actually. Yes. So it's the same cool. link, but we'll compile both webinars in one place so you can go visit it and refer the people you know. A favor for everyone listening, yeah, you're happy, but you need to act. So let me give you the first thing you need to do to act. If you found this valuable, you send the link that I gave you. The first one, send it off to a friend who has a business. First personal message, email, text it. At least that's your first action. Okay? Train your mind to act because if you train your body to act, because if you don't do that, you'll just wind up like everybody else. You got awesome information, you got awesome techniques, and that's actually a big strategy that uh, Jay taught us. Um, but you're never gonna act on it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not gonna act on it, Nothing is going to change in your life, and that's what we don't want to happen. We want something to happen. Yes. We want something really great to happen. That's why we're sharing this stuff to you guys for free. I don't know if you noticed that, but maybe you did. All right? <laughs> so <laughs> do share the link to the replays to a friend or a, your boss. You know, anonymously share it to your boss. I'm sure you're working for someone. And the president of your company would probably want to see that today's or tonight's webinar or last Monday's webinar. Just send it to your marketing manager or the president of your company. Yeah, we could send that, but it's much better if you do it because you look better. I mean, they'll, they'll look at you and say, wow, you are interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> we want them to get to know these things also. And it helps you practice your action, right? So thank you very much, everyone, for listening. And for those who are in the replay, thank you for watching. And wait for us on Monday. We're going to talk to you about how to use that status update. You know how to use Facebook. You probably don't know what you, what in the world are you going to approach the LinkedIn status update because it's not the same. So thank you so much for from us to Jay McLean, okay, because of all that uh, secret stuff. <laughs> Okay, so uh, in in closing, can you guys say tell Jay we want more? Okay, so just you know, <laughs> just for fun. And then let we can all say good night. In my practice, we don't really we don't really close the webinar until you guys uh, finish asking your questions from Nikki or Jasmine, who is actually here. So there. So good night and thank you, Jay, for. Showing us the way. <laughs> Always so an honor. Your birthday, yeah. Yeah, your birthday is four days from now, right? Or is that true or is that fake? Is that, no. Yeah, it's true. Okay, in my case, it's, it's true. fake. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> so your birthday. Yeah. So we better do something. Okay. <laughs> so yes, thank you. Thank okay. You. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. It's always an honor. Okay. Y y it's up to you, Jay, if you can stick around if you want. But okay, normally, yeah. I just keep the webinar open until they stop asking questions. Nikki or Jasmine will be asking, will be answering the questions. Okay. Thank cool. you, guys. Thank you, Jay. Thank you.